my name is Jen and I'm in Dr. Benedict's 115 Chemistry 2 class and today I'm going to show you how to make a pH indicator using red cabbage. You will need gloves, red cabbage, baking soda, lemon juice, bleach, vinegar, water, a blender, a strainer, some mini empty water bottles, scissors, a pan, a timer, and a heating element. First we're going to begin by blending about a fourth of a cabbage in a blender. And once that's all blended, we're going to empty that into a pot. Then we're going to take some water that we boiled and pour that in. Just about until the cabbage is covered in water. We're going to mix that up. And then we're going to take the cabbage and water solution and pour it into the strainer. But we can strain all the solid pieces of cabbage out. And then we're going to let that cool for about a half hour. And once that's cooled, you'll get a solution that looks like this. And this is what we're going to use as our indicator. First, we're going to begin with lemon juice that has a pH of about 2. We mix the indicator in. It should turn to a light pink color. Because it's very acidic. And the next solution that we have is vinegar, which has a pH of about 3. Uh, so it's also acidic, so it should be about a pink color. It should be a little bit darker than the pink from before. And you can compare on the lemon juice is a lot lighter than the vinegar. If you look at those. The next one we have is water, which we're going to use as our uh, control. And it's going to be purple because its pH is 7, which is neutral. So it's going to stay the same color as the cabbage juice. The next one that we're going to do is baking soda. And now baking soda has a pH of 9, which makes it more basic than the solutions that we've been working with. So it should turn a blue color when we mix in the indicator, which it does, which is a lot lighter than the neutral. And then we're going to, the last one we have is bleach that has a pH of 13. So when we mix this purple indicator in, um, there should be no color, little to no color change. If anything, it might turn a little bit yellow. That's about it. All right, and there you have it. So we started with lemon juice, which has a low pH of about 2 which makes it very acidic. Um, then we went to vinegar that has a pH of 3, and um, it turned a little bit darker. Then water with a pH of 7, which is neutral. Then baking soda that had a pH of 9, which makes it more ba basic. And then lastly, the bleach that has a pH of 13, um, which there was almost little to no change in the color at all. And that's how you make a pH indicator using red cabbage. Thank you.